Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and finally we can say the words that Celtic look set to complete their first signing of the January transfer window. It's only a quick update today and I'm sure if you haven't been sleeping under a rock, you're already excited about the news because we've been waiting a hell of a long time for it. So let's talk about it. Hello, if you haven't already, please make sure to hit like and subscribe, it'd be much appreciated. We have passed the mark for 42,000 subscribers, thank you all so much. Let's not stop there, let's try and get towards 50,000 this year. So if you haven't already, drop down below, hit like and subscribe, you'll get all your Celtic news, including this update today, as Celtic are poised to make their first signing of the window. Nicholas Kuhn, it's happening, it looks as though he's ready to sign for Celtic. Uh, which is great news um, because we've been waiting patiently for news of a signing in this window. Uh, it's almost felt like it was never going to happen and maybe in a position where we didn't quite expect it to happen, Celtic have decided to make some reinforcements anyway. Nicholas Gerrit Kuhn, um, the German winger from Rapid Vienna, looks as though he is about to sign. It has been flying about all day. This was Sky Sports earlier on in the day. Celtic are close to an agreement with Rapid Vienna for winger Nicholas Kuhn. It's understood negotiations on a deal worth just under £3 million have reached an advanced stage. Mark Hendry um, of Football Scotland has been keeping this updated throughout the process as well given this kind of hour-by-hour hour updates. This was the most recent one that he has delivered. Uh, the players not travelling to Turkey with Rapid Vienna for their training camp. Celtic have made it clear to Kuhn that he was their prime target and they've pushed to make it happen. Uh, and just before that as well, uh, the £2.8 million transfer has been pushed hard by the club. So those were the two most recent updates from Mark Hendry. Um, it looks as though that it's got to be something that might be tied up over the weekend. An official announcement, I, I don't know if we'll get that over the weekend, that might have to wait until Monday, but I'd imagine maybe Sunday we'll get the official announcement of Nicholas Kuhn being a Celtic player, should everything go to plan, you know, medical past, um, all of the kind of legal requirements as well in, in terms of working over here and all that jazz. Hopefully an announcement soon, it's just great news to see that Celtic are actually making a signing. It looks as though the club have pushed really hard for this one uh, to get it over the line to make sure that he becomes a Celtic player. Um, it t turns out there's been a few clubs apparently interested in trying to land the talents of Nicholas Kuhn. He's caught, uh, caught the eyes of a few clubs over in mainland Europe. Uh, the Football Scotland article by Mark Hendry goes on to say that some unnamed clubs in both Germany and Italy registered an interest on Nicholas Kuhn. However, his heart is set on Glasgow and one of the main reasons for that and a major factor in his decision is Brendan Rodgers. Apparently Brendan Rodgers being one of the key factors for him deciding to come to Celtic. Obviously we don't know what clubs this is in, in Germany and in, in Italy. I don't think you're talking top end here. You're not talking your Borussia Dortmunds, your RB Leipzig's and stuff like that. Um, but the, he had the chance to return to his home country but the looks of it, whoever it was with, um, you know, had the chance to return to Germany, probably play somewhere in the Bundesliga but his heart is set on Glasgow which is, you know, we kept banging this drum a lot when Ange Postacoglu was in charge uh, about how we want players who are desperate to play for the club and Ange Postacoglu would always make that a priority and it's nice to see that apparently here in this situation Nicholas Kuhn is is so determined to come to Celtic and his, his heart's set on on us which is great because you know the more motivated the hope we are to play for our club the, the better the player we are actually going to see so it's all been a bit of a whirlwind over the past sort of 40 hours since his name was first mentioned in the media um, but it's nice to see that it's all coming to an end and for just short of £3 million it looks, it looks as though we're landing you know, a decent enough talent. I've already seen some people complain um, about Nicholas Kuhn being a signing because oh, we don't know him. And I seen a cracking tweet earlier on, which is the way I try to sum it up. I always, every window I come on here and I say the same thing. Who do we know when we sign them? You know what I mean? Apart from the, the ones like Cameron Carter-Vickers, who's, who's coming up from down south. If they don't play in Scotland or England, the majority of players that we are signing, we have never heard of. I had never heard of Kyogo, Dyson Maida, Rio Hitati, Josip Juranovic, Alistair Johnston, um, who's, who else is in there, Mike Navrovsky, even dating back a bit if you want to take it even further, but I never heard of Virgil van Dijk, Victor Wanyama. 
you never hear of these players. So I never get that complaint when people go, oh, it's another unknown project, somebody this, that. What do you expect? We're not going to go out there and sign someone who's tearing it up in the English Premier League and the leagues that we're all watching. We're not going to sign somebody who's tearing it up in the German Bundesliga. We have very specific markets that a club like Celtic need to shop in. And if you are shopping in these Premier League Bundesliga markets, you're more than likely having to go for somebody who's no kicked a ball in a year. Whereas Nicholas Kuhn has been on semi-decent form for... and Semi-decent's a bit of an insult. He's been on decent form for Rapid Vienna um, since he signed a year and a half ago. So I'm very excited for him. It's not exactly the priority position that I thought we had to address in this window. He's, of course, a right winger. A right winger who's capable of playing up front as well. But predominantly playing on the right wing, it wasn't a position that I feel like the club had to address. That's probably my only concern. We should be probably going for a left back or whatever first. Um, but listen, if it's strengthening our squad and, and Brendan Rodgers really likes the player, I'm, I'm more than happy with him signing because realistically we're looking at some wingers at this club who probably shouldn't be here much longer and, and, and don't have the ability that's required. You know, your your James Forrest, your Rocco Batters, your, um, your Yangs, your um, even Mikey Johnsons, you know, players whose Celtic careers are kind of in the balance. We may as well strengthen up and get better players and if this is one of them, then I'm, I'm more than happy with that. We did discuss Nicholas Kuhn on the podcast yesterday and in my video prior to that on uh, Wednesday as well. However, this is how he's been doing in the Austrian Bundesliga with Rapid Vienna since signing. He's been there about a year and a half now, um, and in that time he's managed to get 7 goals and 10 assists. He's also competed in the qualifiers for the Europa Conference League, but for a mid-table side... In the Austrian Bundesliga, not a bad return from the right wing. He's not going to be firing in 10, 15 goals a season playing mid-table Austrian Premier League football. Um, you know, he's, he's doing his bit. A former product of the RB Leipzig Youth Academy. Spent time very briefly as well with both Ajax and Bayern Munich before moving to Rapid Vienna. Someone who I think Sealand was probably thought of quite highly when he was signing for clubs like... Ajax, Bayern Munich and, and obviously coming through the, the Leipzig Youth Academy he's probably thought of quite highly and, and maybe just that level was a step too far for, for him but he has started getting that first team football and, and recovering that potential and since spending time at Rapid Vienna and now obviously the opportunity to build on that with Celtic is massive for him so um, yeah he's, he's scored goals throughout his entire career if you want this is his stats from from club to club when he was in the under 17s at Leipzig he got 24 goals in 35 games Bayern Munich second team he got 6 goals Ajax under 21s 5 goals mostly spent on the right wing as we talked about but yeah he, the first team football Rapid Vienna has been going pretty well for him that's how he's caught the eye of Celtic German sides Italian sides and hopefully it is one that works out for us. I mean, that's that's the main thing, isn't it? So on that note, be sure to watch out over the next couple of days because I think we will get that official announcement soon. He's not travelling to Turkey with Rapid Vienna, which means he'll probably be jetting off to Glasgow in the, uh, probably today to, to get to Ross Hall and get the medical done. So keep an eye out. Our first signing is finally being made and I'm hoping that that is the catalyst for us to kick on and make another couple of signings in the next week or so. On that note, there has been some noise surrounding the name of Thiago Araujo once more on social media. However, still nothing there concrete saying that Celtic are moving for him and that's going to happen. However, there has been multiple reports suggesting that Celtic are prioritising getting a left back in this window. Will it be Thiago Araujo? I don't know. But once again, if Nicholas Kuhn is the, um, the the kind of catalyst for us to go on now and get business done, I'm hoping we do sign a left back. Whether it's Araujo or not, Celtic need to prioritise that area. There have been reports in Portugal linking this once again with, with his name, but there's nothing in these articles yet to say that Celtic have put in a bid that it's actually happening. So you're going to have to be patient. If that's the player you want, don't get too invested yet because there's nothing to suggest that's definitely the player Celtic are going for. But... Reports are suggesting a left-back should be happening in this window. Um, we've just got to hope and pray that that is the case. Right then, that'll do for today. A very quick Fire Friday night update for you. I don't want to keep you on long if you've got your plans for Friday night. I hope you enjoy them. Um, take care, enjoy your weekend. Another weekend without Celtic, sadly, but we should be on the channel with something over the course of the weekend, so keep an eye out for that. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to hit like and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you all next time.